Can you imagine the majestic, proud tiger fleeing from an encounter in its domain? If you can imagine that, perhaps you have an image of an elephant chasing a tiger. Or if you are more imaginative, then you have an image of the king of the jungle fleeing from a safari jeep filled with tourists and their cameras because it's not in the mood for the paparazzi. What you most likely did not imagine is a cute-looking or gentle animal giving the ferocious tiger a literal run for its money. These are the five unlikely animals that can defeat a tiger. Get ready to be surprised. Number 5. The Sloth Bear, also known as the Honey Bear. Don't be fooled by the name, because this bear may love honey, but it can be a maniac when it needs to be. Looking at this little bear, all you want to do is cuddle it. But this beautiful bear is better left undisturbed because it takes the idiom fighting tooth and nails very literally. It will slash and bite with its unusually long claws and teeth to deliver maximal damage if it feels threatened. Sloth bears, just like sloths, are never in a hurry. You'll find them in the most isolated parts of the forest of India and Sri Lanka, where they are foraging for food. They rely mostly on their noses to locate their favorite food because they have very bad sight and hearing. They actually don't depend much on their eyes anyway because they're nocturnal. Sloth bears are mostly active at night, when they can be found wreaking havoc on beehives with their long, sharp claws. It does not just feast on the honey. Even the bee larvae are a treat. Termite colonies are not spared either. They would rip through termite nests until they can slip in their elongated snout to snack on the termites. Of course the termites try to fight back, but the bear keeps its nostrils closed the whole time, preventing the soldiers of the colony from getting into its nose. They also supplement their diet with fruits, grains, and other small animals. Interestingly, hungry, desperate tigers sometimes target these bears, but the battle could flip either way. Sloth bears have been sighted fighting courageously when attacked by tigers. They are able to stand their ground and inflict some injuries on the tiger until it gives up and flees. It's incredible because sloth bears are just about half the size of tiger, weighing just 250 pounds or 113 kilograms. Fortunately for them, their thick black coat provides a lot of defense that makes it very difficult for tigers to secure a kill bite, especially around the neck. Next on the list is another honey-loving animal, the honey badger, also known as the rattle. This badger-like animal is actually a member of the weasel family. They are renowned for their fearlessness so much that the Guinness Book of Records gave them the title of the world's most fearless animal. You can be sure that the world's most fearless animal would be a handful for even tigers. And unfortunately for the tigers, this little bundle of trouble can be found in the forests of Asia, right where the tiger lives too. Just like the honey bear, the honey badger is also nocturnal. It's most active at night, but you can still find them causing trouble or seeking what to eat during the day too. They are not shy, but extremely curious. Honey badgers will investigate anything that catches their fancy, a proof of how intelligent they are. Rattles can rattle any predator that mistakes them for an easy target. They have very sharp teeth, which they would use generously to give very painful bites. The bites may not be powerful enough to kill a tiger, but they can sting quite badly. Rattles have been documented fighting similarly large predators successfully, such as leopards, lions, and jackals. Indeed, it's not the size of the animal in the fight, but the size of the fight in the animal. Honey badgers are true fighters, and the respect they have earned is well deserved. At number 3, the Gar. These cattle are the heavyweight champions in the bovid family, which consists of all buffaloes, bison, and antelopes. The bulls are usually larger than the cows, standing 6 feet tall at the shoulders. They can weigh an astonishing 3,300 pounds, or 1,500 kilograms. They are also known as Indian bison because they can be found naturally around the jungles of India and Southeast Asia generally, meaning encounters with tigers is part of their life as they live around each other. Tigers do prey on gars, but a study revealed that 83% of these kills are gars that only weigh about 700 kilograms, which is just half the full size of a matured bull, which would prove to be too much trouble for the tigers. These animals are visibly muscular and have a very acute sense of smell, which alerts them of any predator even before they can sight where the danger is coming from. The Indian bison has pointy horns that can reach a length of over three feet each, and they won't hesitate to use them, especially when cornered. Their initial response to threat 
threat is to flee. Surprisingly, they are very fast despite their humongous size. Because humans have encroached into their habitat, it's not uncommon to see gars out in the field grazing with domestic cattle. In this setting, fights do break out between the domesticated cattle and the gars, which usually results in the domestic cattle being gored to death. It's best to be wary of gars because they are easily agitated and are notorious for attacking even when unprovoked. Being packed with so much power that easily kills other cattle, this animal would have no trouble sending a tiger to its grave. At number 2. Dogs Legend has it that Buddhist monks up the plateaus of Tibet bred a dog so powerful they could fight off bears, snow leopards, and even tigers. That is the legend part of the story. The fact is, the Tibetan Mastiff was indeed a guard dog to monk monasteries, but very unlikely they kill tigers. A small pack of these Mastiffs would definitely get the job done, but tigers are ambush predators that would avoid such a scuffle. So there is some truth to the legend, because tigers would avoid villages that had these dogs standing guard. Dogs can be very capable, especially when in packs, and this is not limited to the Tibetan Mastiff. We have bred dogs in different parts of the world to protect us and our livestock from the most powerful predators. Because dogs are territorial, they work together as a team to fight off any intruder, regardless of the intruder's size. If the unfortunate trespasser is unable to flee fast enough or does not have an advantage of size, the attacking dogs would swiftly tear it apart. In India, where dogs do usually have frequent encounters with leopards and tigers, the dogs usually end up on the big cat's dinner table, but tides turn when the dogs are in a pack. There are many reports and records of packs of dogs killing leopards and some reports of tigers being the victims of the canine mob in some rare occasions too. At number one is the Asiatic black bear. If there is one animal that lives in the same territory as the tiger that can truly humble the big cat, it is the Asiatic black bear. A fight between these two beasts would be a fair fight as they are about the same size, with the bear weighing up to 440 pounds or 200 kilograms. More popularly known as moon bears because of the white crest that marks their chest, moon bears are very similar to black bears, but they are more aggressive, making them more dangerous than black bears. Some naturalists believe that their aggressive nature was developed to help them adapt to live alongside the tiger. There is footage of this animal making even tigers larger than themselves submit. In an encounter with a tiger, moon bears will stand on their hind legs, making them an intimidating seven feet tall, which is enough to make the tiger bow out of the fight. The only times tigers succeed in killing moon bears are when they are ambushed from behind, and it helps if the bear was also not fully grown. Asiatic black bears have also been known to kill tigers. Both animals seem to have respect for each other, so most encounters just end up in bluffs. To survive, tigers do not rely on being brutal alone. These majestic cats are very smart. They would accept defeat and gracefully walk away from any fight they are not sure of winning. Tigers still remain. Beasts every animal hopes not to meet in the jungle.